recognize you out here? Yeah. The big view in the center is called Elephant View. And it's named after a rock formation that's back by the windows that looks like a uh, prey development. It's called prey development. That's where actually the view is. It's kind of a, a rock spire. Yes. There used to be another rock sitting on the top of that. It looked like a big owl sitting up there. It's eroded away, but uh, we still call that owl rock. If you were to look out here at the same bit of scenery that we around 8 or 10,000 years ago, you would have noticed it looked pretty different than it looks out there today. A lot of the rocks probably would look the same because erosion is a very slow process, especially here because it was dry. But we would have noticed the vegetation. And if we could travel back in time, we would have been able to see stands of limber pine and Douglas fir growing up there. Oh, really? Yeah. So that would certainly indicate this place used to be um, an area that received a lot more moisture at one time. It was a lot cooler. So that means maybe it wasn't a desert up even in recent geologic history, you know, as recent as 8,000 years ago. Now, how do we know that, even though we can't see any trees out there today? Well, if you look right back here in the crack, this is your clue. You kind of have to squat down and look back there. It's kind of some crusty yellow-like material. This is species left behind by a pack rat. And pack rats, of course, are known for collecting things, right? <laughs> um, they forage about 100 yards from wherever they live. And anything that they think they can use or it's of interest to them, they'll bring home, they'll stuff it underneath their crack or underneath their tree, wherever they happen to live.